Hi guys, welcome to part two. Today we'll be exploring what happened to the bike, uh, but first a little recap of uh, what happened last time. Oh, here we go again. What's going on this time? There we go. Stupid bike. The next day. Every time I fix something, something else goes wrong. Now the bike doesn't work at all. I don't know what's going on. Throttle's good. The switch has been disabled. I've got it put in drive. I freaking got all the wires hooked up and everything. And it's all freaking powered up, but nothing. 2,000 years later. All right, so now that I've had the night to calm down, using this tester, I was able to determine that it's not the motor, it is actually the controller that went. And, um, well, I'm sure you remember this clip from the last video. The real reason I want to upgrade my controller. Like I said, there was already reasons I didn't like it. So, I'm going to show you what's happened to it since then and then explain what led up to everything. As you can see from here, um, that one popped off, so I had to find another way to put it on. It's on, it's same thing, I had to go buy a, a new clamp to put that on, and then I just put it to a, a ringlet so that the other wire ringlet could just bolt to it. That worked, and then I lost the blue wire uh, a few days ago, so I had to do the same thing, but it's clipped in there now. But even with all those problems, like I said, uh, and then I had uh, throttle problems and the switch malfunction. So I had to deactivate it down here. And then, uh, as you can tell, there's nothing here because my shifter was screwing up. So I had to, where are those? There they are. I had to figure it out. Oh, by the way, if you guys want to know your shifter thing, it's the one next to this green one. And you've got a blue, a pink, a brown, and a... Gray, I guess. Okay, so if you put your pink is your ground, your brown is your S, your super overdrive, whatever you want to call it, your blue is your drive, and your brown is your reverse. So if you want to get like a, a triple switch that's got the three poles on the bottom, if you hook your ground up to the middle one and you hook your brown up to the top one for drive and your gray to the bottom one for reverse, you can just flick forward for drive, flick backward for reverse, and then put the switch somewhere. You don't need this thing here that can screw up. So yeah, so I, I fixed that. I put it in drive, like I said, bypassed the switch, got the throttle all working, got the controller all fixed and everything, and I still get nothing. Like, I'll show you guys. Flick on the battery. Make sure nothing's touching any metal. Click OK, flick this breaker on. Okay, hall sensor wires plugged on, bike back on, and still, pull the throttle, okay, absolutely nothing, look, wide open, nothing, so, yeah, it's the controller, so, uh, I'm leaving a link to the controller down below, but here's what I'm getting. So this is the controller and the program cable I will be ordering. It's just another EM100. Uh, it's my daily driver, so I can't afford the EM150 right now. So I, I just got to put in a, a direct replacement. So yeah, at least I figured out what the problem is. So once I have that ordered and it comes in, I'll make a video of me putting the controller in. And when the BMS shows up, I'll also make a video of putting that in my battery and showing how, to, how it works and all the BMS settings and everything. Just a little side note, uh, when I do get my new controller in, the first thing I will be doing is taking these screws that come with it down to my local hardware store and getting some hardened steel ones, some proper screws, because you barely barely over tighten them like you put a little bit too much pressure on them and they snap and like 
that's what happened here originally it snapped off you know so i had that all fixed up with the clamps and everything and then like i said the blue one went too and that was the boom that was actually this screw right here i just over tightened it a little too much and snap so yeah if you're gonna get a votol controller replace these bolts they suck and also i'm gonna be making a video of this one once i this this stuff has to be jb welded on i don't know but once i get the cover all broken off i'm gonna make another video just you know showing what's inside because i don't I think there is any videos that actually show what's inside of a Voltol controller. Okay guys, so stay tuned for those episodes. And in the meantime, feel free to check out this one. Click that subscribe button and we'll catch you on the next one. Complete annihilation of a Voltol EM100. There it is resting, waiting for its parts.